Hello and welcome. Let's see how we can transform this image into this image using the new action set. Um, let me delete this. Uh, okay, as you saw, we have few sections inside the action set. Pretty much your workflow will be in order. Um, we're gonna start using the first option. So I will select the first one and after running the action, I'm only going to use a white brush and paint. Um, as you can see, all you need to do is select the layer mask and paint. Let me start with a pretty hard brush so we can do this a little faster. Um, okay, let's go with this and let's explore different options during the process. Again, uh, just try to be careful with the parts. Remember, we are using a pretty strong brush. I will left this off, uh, this portion for the edge or the tight space in this case, because I don't want to have any color bleeding from the backdrop to the dress. So. For that, we have the other option. Uh, in the bottom part, I don't want to paint a lot because we want to preserve these and shadows and transitions. It makes this looks more natural, and this is what we want. We want to make these looks as natural as possible without wrinkles. Um, let me see how we're doing it. Maybe a little in here. Um, we are pretty much okay. Okay, we done one part of the work. Again, let me delete in here. Okay, better. Uh, for the edges, I want to use the tight spaces version, so I will run the action and then I will paint a little more in here, something like this. I want to be sure I didn't paint in the backdrop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do just a quick selection and fill the selection with black color because we have some bleeding in here. So that's all. Um, okay, let's move to the next step. I will use number two. This will be pretty much your workflow every time. Uh, you will start with one, then you will move to the two, and then you will jump to the third, so forth, so on. Um, okay, something like this. This will help us with the wrinkles. Again, I don't want to delete all the shadows in here because I want to preserve this because it's gonna make this look more natural or real and this is what we want. Remember, do not overpaint, do not overdo it. Again, I overpaint this part for this one so I will use tight spaces. Good, less opacity. Let's paint a little more in here. Something like that, it's okay. And maybe... I don't like it, better. Okay. Not this color, this one for this. Okay, uh, I will move now to the third option. And using the third option, what I'm gonna do is delete these wrinkles. Let me increase the brush 
opacity at least for these parts. For the other parts I'm going to use a softer brush but in this I want to have more <coughs> I'm sorry more precision so I will paint with something like 100 percent okay these ones and then I will smooth all the transitions between this painting and the rest of the dress. For these lines, we can run again um, the wrinkled shadows, but if we do not preserve any of this, this will look flat or photoshoppy or fake. So let's try to trust in our eyes and preserve what we need to preserve, the details, the imperfections and natural imperfections to make these looks natural and realistic. Trust in your eyes. Uh, if you're overdoing, you can go back and paint with black and that's okay. You don't need to flatten all the layers or start all over again. You can see I did leave everything in here, so in any moment I can go back and pay, paint with black color in the layer mask, and it's like I never paint with white. Uh, you will delete process or delete the effect or whatever, and it will be restored. Um, I use, like in this, I sort of screwed in here, and I don't want to go this far. So. I sort of do not like it, so I will paint with black again, not black, not white, black, I'm sorry, this. And now we are better. Better. Okay, now we're done with this part, just try to be more careful with the hand, not like me. Um, Maybe this transition in here, we could make something more subtle. We're gonna take a look in a moment. Um, for the moment, let me group all together and see the before and after. Well, it looks better. The only thing I do not like is, okay, okay. Mm, maybe the entire thing in here. So I'm gonna use a big layer mask and just want to be a little more delicate in here. Something like this, maybe too much. Let's be more okay, better. I want to have sort of small detail in here, like. A soft imperfection gonna help us to make these looks more natural and this is what we want make or maintain this as natural as we can but clean that's all so much better okay um, the texture thing yeah uh, but before, maybe we want to, let me take a look on how, how it looks if I do delete a little more of these central transitions. This is definitely t like too much. I don't want this. It's too flat. I don't like it. But maybe something more subtle, like something around this it's clean, it's good, it's okay, and it's realistic. And that's what we want, something clean. And okay, now I will move to the texture part. Um, we have different options for texture, it have different look. 
Uh, in this case, I will use the last option, but you can play around and see which one fits better. And I will use a soft, large, uh, low opacity brush to paint in the places where I want to bring back some texture. Like in this part, for example. Again, all you need to do is paint with white. That's all. If you overdone, you can paint with black for remove the effect, like in this part. And this is pretty much all. Mm. Let's take a look to a quick before and after. Let me group this all together. Let's leave some subtle imperfection in here to make this more natural. Not the bottom one, but the others, I want to leave it better. Okay, and for the background, I will use the sorcery sauce. Uh, let's use the zero banding and this will be I think this will be uh, the last part. Okay. Mm, let's paint this with black and that's, let me see. Again, a before and after just in case I miss Okay, I think this is a good approach for um, a first use of this action set. Uh, if you have questions, doubts, or you need to uh, talk with us, you know, you can do it in this uh, in this post or through email. You know, you can find us. Um, thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.